May I just mention it first here that um, if you continue all the vlogs next year, could you please make it so that we don't have to do two vlogs in a row? Um, I'm sure you haven't missed that, Matt, but I um, certainly want next year, if we continue on with the vlogs, to not have to do two vlogs in a row because I'm out of ideas. <laughs> So yeah, uh, I don't know if we continue on next year, but anyway, we still got November and December, so uh, yeah, any updates about life? Not really. Um, still talking about the election all over the place. I know it's still relatively new news, but yeah, um, I, I did say I'm pro-Trump. It's sort of basically in the case that out of those two, I'd say Trump, but anyone else on the entire planet, I would say any other person on the entire planet, they're basically two of the worst choices on earth, um, yeah, without a shadow of a doubt, so, yeah, in that election I'd be pro-Trump, if it's Bernie Sanders, he'd have won by a landslide easily, uh, but anyway, it's old news now, well, in my opinion it's old news now, so let's just move on to some newer topics, for instance, I'm thinking about, on my main channel, um, uploading a, um, updated version of my top 10 favourite movies of all time. Um, that was sort of a, in the previous vlog, that was sort of a rushed thing. I wrote, wrote I think I've already talked about this, but I've wrote it up like literally in um, maybe a minute, what movies I liked. Um, so I've made a bit of an updated version. I, th I seem to recall I've talked about this. I don't know if I have. If I have, please um, tell me, Matt, but, um, anyway, yeah, I basically ranked the movies based on several factors, um, and came up with a definitive, well, actually, I basically ranked, um, 125 of the movies that I remember enough to rank, um, out of, I don't know, maybe the 500 plus movies I've seen, um, so I've ranked up those movies, um, in, you know, that order, all in order, including, in my opinion, a definitive top 50 and certain top 25, so I'm thinking I'm on my main channel in a few weeks, or maybe never, I don't know, my main channel's a wasteland, I'm going to upload a video, um, of my top 50 or 25 favourite movies of all time, um, so, yeah, just a little update, also, by the way, that list will Basically, you can be completely the top ten on that list to be completely different than the top ten on the um, previous list because the top ten. Uh, I was sort of rushing it. Now I've actually judged it. I think I agree with my top ten way more this time around. So, yeah, if you want to see that, please say in your next vlog. Um, and if I already talked about this before, please say in the next vlog as well. Okay, uh, I can't think of a lot else to talk about really. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just trying to think. Not a lot, really. So, let's just get into the movie review of Kill Bill Volume 2. Um, I just want to say, um, I did see Doctor Strange this week, but I'm not sure if I can have the opportunity to review it, because I'm sort of in a role of Kill Bill. I want to, you know, review Kill Bill 2 this week. So, I may review Doctor Strange next week. Um, so, yeah, I'm actually sort of having a plan now, because I've basically... I've planned out pretty much every movie I'm going to review for the last maybe four weeks before, and um, and I've seen them before the weekend. So yeah, um, Doctor Strange next week. If I don't see a movie I want to review on this weekend, um, anyway, the Kill Bill Volume Two is to review today. So let's get down with it. So Kill Bill Volume Two pretty much continues on the story of Kill Bill Volume One. Um, also, it tells a bit more of the backstory of the characters and uh, the bride's relationship to Bill and all, and already she and um, Vivica A. Fox's characters, who she killed in the last movie, and two more characters uh, who are mentioned in the last review, um, who she faces. Well, she uh, she faces off against in this movie and leads up to Bill at the end. Um, so basically, half the movie is the prequel of how. Um, the bride sort of rose to prominence in um, an assassin ring um, and made friends and enemies and learnt or she 
loved in the first movie how she could, you know, fight all those ATA crazy AA people. Um, and the other half is basically finishing off the story of Kim Volume 1. Um, so I must give uh, Tarantino credit for having two stories pretty much disjointed. He does tell them really well. Not necessarily in order, but they do feel in an order that makes sense. Basically, um, one minute you're seeing um, the bride on a quest to kill Bill's brother, and then um, something happens in that scene which is really shocking. I was like, how's she going to get out of that? And then basically went into a prequel bit on how there's an old um, Chinese teacher who taught her several tricks about assassinations and everything and getting out of danger and you see that used um, in um, the next scene which is actually in a real time if you know what I mean um, so I think the story is really well told in this one and some of the bits do get really um, emotional and everything especially towards the end um, and yeah really so mostly ends are tied up even though you didn't want to be tied up while tied up um, the, um, when the eye patch, um, is sort of the irony she had this movie, she's not as good, she does see a bit ruthless, but not as ruthless, I don't know, a bit of a annoying character, but a great send-off, the action scene in this movie, there's not as much action, there's only maybe two set pieces, unlike the previous one when I was, like, okay, fair enough, there are only, like, three, but the last one was pretty much the entire last act of the movie, um, now this one only has um, two action set pieces and one of them is very short, so, um, but, um, yeah, the action set piece between the bride and the Mimini patch is really good, and it leads to a great send-off, um, so, yeah. Also, I must say, the confrontation between uh, the bride and Bill is really emotionally challenging at the end, you're not sure what to think of Bill because the amount of effort the bride's gone through to meet Bill and be like, Bill sort of, I don't think giving anything away by saying it, he does, he's not as bad as the people who she has killed, um, and I'm not going to give anything away, uh, because there is an even bigger twist that I'm not going to give away, um, if you haven't seen it, um, anyone watching the vlog, so, uh, so it, that is emotionally challenging. Uh, but the thing is, this movie, I wouldn't say it's as good as the first one. Because the thing that happens near the start, which I found shocking, I thought it was a little bit too shocking, because it's probably the first first real thing new that happens in the movie, not prequel based. Um, so, yeah, it's sort of like, well, what, we've got two hours more of this. The bride's in this situation. Where do we go? I didn't like that about the movie. I know she got out of that situation, but yeah. And also the action set pieces coming off the first one. This one is more story driven, but I'd like to have seen more, especially a big action scene between her, uh, Bill's brother, and the woman in the eye patch. I oh, no, that's just yeah. It's only between her and the woman in the eye patch. Um, I've seen a big action set piece in the middle. And maybe a bit more at the end, because um, the ending sort of comes across as a little bit. I just came all this way, and then it's sort of, yeah, yeah, um, not really worth her trouble. Uh, but I will say that the prequel part and all the ends they tied up with the actual first movie in it were unexpectedly good. Um, I think as a prequel, this movie does work. Um, and you know how Bill did come to be. Also, you do see Bill in this movie. Would be a bit of a problem if you don't. He's a like he's good. I like, I like um, Bill. Maybe not m as much of a villain as a real um, person. Not sure who to think about, especially towards the end. Like I've already said, the ending well may come across as sort of an eh ending, if you know what I mean. Um, the scenes between the bride and Bill are pretty good. Um, so uh, overall, it's not as good as the first. Um, Uma Thurman, in my opinion, isn't as ass kicking in this movie. Um, and yeah, the action set pieces aren't as good coming off the first. Um, and the endings, 
bit naff. Um, but it's still got some really good stuff, and it is a great conclusion. Um, I mean, if you want to do a, th um, what, how long would it be about? Well, the first one's about one hour forty-five. The second one's about two and a half hours. So, um, uh, I haven't been to, I haven't done maths in um, one and a half years. So please bear with me. Um, can't believe I'm in trouble with this. Uh, two and a half. Four and a quarter hours. If you want to spend four and a quarter hours watching these movies, I wouldn't say it's time wasted at all. Um, really good action scenes and a good story. And I don't know, maybe next time I watch them, I will watch them completely back to back. I watched the Kill Bill 1 um, on Sunday and then I watched Kill Bill 2 on Tuesday. So I don't know, maybe if I watch them back to back, I'll like Kill Bill 2 a bit more. I do now. I still think Kill Bill One's bad, but I say Kill Bill Two is still a good time now. Of shots required. So yeah, um, that's that review. <laughs> I hate signing off in the vlogs. It's so hard because I'm not really a natural signer off, or I'm a very natural talker. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's a bit egotistical. But um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching the vlog, Matt. Um, if you do the vlogs next year, can we please not have any back-to-back -back days? Maybe even just do Saturday and Thursday. And I'd like that personally. And make our vlogs longer. Um, because right now we're making our vlogs way too short and way not action packed enough. Um, so yeah, um, thanks for watching the vlog and I'll see you on Saturday.